person. <laughs> Looks so messy, I like it. Man, why can't I build for stuff in commissions? Like... I think about, like, I sit down and look, like, in a house for, like, five years, and I can't do it as a commission, but I can do it, like, here. I hate it. Because it's out of context of everything else. You don't have to worry about what's around it, right? True, true. It's just yeah. a concept. I get really inspired on podcast days, and I'm just like, yeah, let's go. Oh, I gotta do stuff later? Oh, shit, this is supposed to be for something? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Stream. Uh, there we go. We went we live, didn't we? Okay. What'd you say? We went live, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Nella. Hello, Lucian. Hey, Midori. Good evening, good evening. I'm a uh, big fan of you, hear, right? You hear nobody? We can't hear anything? No. It should be working. No, we, they can hear us. In, in stream, we are all. Yeah, this seems fun. Hello, Ava. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this in a hot second. It's so good. Our I, first weekend. I have that shelf mm -hmm. in this commission, and I was like, I should sit on it, but you know. <laughs> whatever. You gotta, you gotta keep it for the big reveal. <laughs> hey, York, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Yeah, it was recently, like, we've, like, every single time we've built something new, like, it, okay, that's at least what it feels like for me, something new was in that house. Like, it, 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 like for, for Synth, for me, for you, Ashton, it felt like... It felt like some if we ever did something, was something completely new, or something that is completely new in the community in general. Where well, I did... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I can't say I've seen that corner shelf, honestly. Ah, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you come up with it? Yeah. <laughs> Pog. Big fan. Hey, uh, hey, Oak. Hey, Kai. Hey, Chloe. Oh, I'm going to say this right now. I think the white screen has changed things and it's going to take people like serious time to catch on to like exactly how much you can do with it. Yeah, but because... people have been using the fucking wood part only yeah. mainly. It's the closest we're ever going to get to, like, a, you know, at least probably for a while, to a flat partition, and you can really make use of that. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's nice. I'm using it as shelves a lot. I've seen people use it as a bench. Yep, I used it as countertops and stuff. You can, yeah. do, you can do a lot with it. Who was a person who did, like, this staggered shelf kind of thing with, like, the towels on it, and this felt well, very clean built? That was... Ah. Oh, God. They posted... Mm, I... They have a green name in FD. I'm so sorry if I don't remember. <laughs> I I can't quite tell who it was, sadly. I, Usually I, 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 like I, it took them a random. while. They posted yeah. it a long time ago, and then they finally finished it, and it looked really clean and good. I love that so much. Like I was, uh, I just was wasn't thinking about it at all. Well, since this is the opening shot, you guys need to like come in and act like you're in a living room. And also, why is there bread still there? <laughs> I told you to get rid of it. I was toasting it for dinner. Oh, Jesus. What are uh, you yes. doing? Are you doing like the Wii? Oh, no. Get out. Never mind. <laughs> you said act like you're like in a living it's, room. Anyway, it's 2020. We beat Cyber now. Oh, my God. You're right. Beat Cyber. <laughs> Still need to. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where's the. um? One post. What are you doing? <laughs> this is me in my living room. Alright, yeah. guys. Hold well, up. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's wee fit. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. Guys, welcome to the stream. We are discussing <laughs> corners, and uh, I didn't do any homework on it. So. <laughs> But we'll, we'll, we'll work together, and we're going to be doing some free building. Yep. Today's the end of the month. Sorry. Go, uh, go ahead, Ashton. Sorry. Well, end of the month, it means uh, we do what we want. Yeah. Fuck the rules. Now, nah, I was just like saying, like, today's not like an official uh, discussion or like topic day. But we've uh, gathered some cool things for you guys, and we want to build some nice things because we've been asked a lot about it. So we can see what we can do. 
we can see what we come up with. We've already come up with some stuff. <laughs> um, maybe like too much to, <laughs> to not show on stream, but uh, we'll have plenty of stuff to talk about and build. So you guys look forward to that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. When, when am I not naked? Especially if she says like, oh, act like, if, like you're in a living room. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, so first things first, with our corners, I always think of the BJ fireplace. Like, that was the yeah. first kind of structural corner build I saw that was kind of, it was honestly very unique at the time. Yeah, I remember that, like, that was, oh, God, a year ago? Yeah, it, he, he had already done... Ago. He had already done the recessed uh, fireplace, which is a similar shape to this, but imagine mm -hmm. a fireplace in there. So he had this. Uh, when Sint and I, we visited it, and we didn't realize how recessed it was. <laughs> oh, it's so set back. It's absurd. Yeah. It's because which... of the things poking up up there, right? Yeah. It is. <laughs> but also, a weird thing to note about it, which I didn't realize at all until I'd already half built this, he built it perfectly against the natural wall because he covered the tops and bottoms of wooden lofts, and it's ah. a snap. In, it's a snap in death trap. You cannot get a loft <laughs> in there unless the loft is on the actual wall. Oh no! So it's basically impossible to replicate <laughs> in yeah. a clean manner. <laughs> uh, but whatever. That is completely fine. It's just a concept. Just an opportunity for you guys to see what you can do with corners instead of having them flat just doing the reverse like adding a corner like having two additional corners but making them smaller and actually using that wall for something completely new in that case the fireplace instead of having a flat one or like an angled diagonal one because uh that's what people usually try to do but uh work a bit with the uh the cardinal directions it's all about visual interest Yes, yeah, definitely. Point. Corners are there to like lead your eye to make you look kind of past them. So if exactly. they draw you to it to begin with, it's going to draw you around the rest of the room. And as it adds so much structural like opportunities too. Like, um, first off, like I hear a lot of people who like open concepts, but they're like, oh, I don't know what to fill my corner with, um, or like fill fill this entire uh two wall corner out. And instead of having to fill the entirety of those two walls, and at some point those things that you put on the walls, like let's say you put some shelves on it, right? Like they'll meet eventually somewhere, right? And if you don't want them to overlap, um, you're gonna have to have something between them. And having a corner like that, like an inverted corner, is just like the perfect way to do it, in my opinion. And would you, would, would you say it's too modern, though? What, this current look? Yeah. What? Uh, it's quite a modern look, yeah. I mean, but then again, most recessed shelving is anyway. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much there any, are... anything that's recessed is is modern, right? Also, I just noticed something. The wood grain goes in two different ways. Look at that. Oh, don't. Oh, if you no. look at it, if you look, if you look at it from the bottom, the actual bottom of the white screen is one direction, and the back is another, and they kind of just slap together on the bottom. So yeah, you've got this line that's the other way. Horrible. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. When you when you when you think about how textures work, I think it's like it's like you know those cardboard cutouts, like the paper cutouts you make and you st like fold them and it makes some kind of shape or like a cube or something. Think of it like texture wrapping around an object like that. This is this is basically how it works. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, thank but... you, thank you for the raid, Tales of Lumen. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it, dude. God, I gotta put some clothes on now. Hang on. <laughs> Do you, or is that what the people want? I don't think it's what they want. Thank you for follow Wolfery. Appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as we said, um, as uh, since that, yeah, recess shelves are mostly modern. But we will see some. C I will build some recess shelving that is um probably a bit more, a bit better for some rustic styles, and I have used some in the past too. Um, it just depends what kind of item and surrounding the um, ho entire house is constructed of. So the entire structure of the house is going to influence on... It's going to influence how you can actually work with the items that you have. For example, uh, oh, we'll see some examples. Let's just uh, show off the other things. Okay, so I really liked your explanation of your little area right here. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Let's, I'll go for it. Hang on. Oh, but hang on. <laughs> 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so, um... Okay. Oh yeah, let me turn the lights off of this one. Like, halfway, I think? Let's go for, like, two, yeah. Okay, so, um, on the left is gonna be, like, a simple corner, so you see how it, like, connect, two walls connect as just one uh, center point, which is basically just the default look. Um, if you go for a rectangular room, for example. Uh, so, in this case, I put the brad rack in the corner, but as I mentioned before, if you have two, like, if you want to cover both walls with some kind of detail or some kind of shelving or something like that, um, they're gonna meet eventually. And, actually, if you look from this perspective here, where I'm standing, right? And look front, you will see how part of the window is covering the, um, the shelf with the bread, for example, and the table is gonna be in front of the little cabinet down there and the chair down there. It's like, it's not as good as it could be. It's not because, functional. Yeah, it's not functional. It's like, it can work, but uh, we have a contrast here on the other side to show you an example of like an inverted wall again, like an inverted co uh, corner, sorry. Um, and you see how Adding a corner there, like, just like that, doesn't only give you the realis realism of having the option to open those cabinets, but you also don't cover up the uh, sc actual screen part, uh, like the actual open shelving part up with anything because it's not in the way anymore. And apart from that, it also gives you the opportunity to have, like, smaller corners. So you know how you have big corners when you have just two walls colliding, especially if they go a long way? But if you have smaller corners, it gives you the opportunity to fill them out very, very easily and very item efficiently, which is really cool. So in that case, I just used two of those, um, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> uh, anglers, the, can the canvases, basically, for yeah. the fishes. Um, the and yeah, and it fills out the entire space, like, and it makes it look detailed, right? And I don't cover the cabinets, which is like a win-win. And the chair is a bit more prominent because it's against a flat surface. Uh, surface. So, yeah, it's, it's just much better in comparison to just this flat corner. And also, another thing, which is why I put the lanterns there, um, is how you, how you can see how the light bounces off. So in this case, I put the lanterns the same way as I did on the other side too. Um, and it reflects onto the shelf, which is a cool effect, but if you compare it to the chair and stuff like that, and you don't see it on the wall anymore here, it's just not the same effect as the light bouncing off onto that little wall, and adding a little bit of shadow uh, shadow play into this. So like the chair is being visible on the back of a wall, and you can also see the shadow from the paintings, because it's like a tilted one, right? Um, which is a bit cheaty, but you know. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just it just adds much more texture and depth. Uh, depth in oh god, I hate that word so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> to your build uh, by having a bit more of a structural difference instead of having uh, just a flat two wall corner. Oh yeah, I agree. Yep. And also, when I do a lot of light and window work, I'm constantly measuring the way the, the sun rays are going to bounce off of things. Should it bounce off of a wall? And yeah, it should because it illuminates the area better. Like you can see that's so easy. And that's, um, again, item efficiency, so you don't have to constantly put lanterns down everywhere. Thing yeah, is, as well, by staggering this out, you're kind of changing how your eye looks at it anyway. Because as you start to look down the kind of side wall, when you reach that small corner, it's actually it's pulling you round to the next wall. Whereas if you have that like hard 90, you kind of your vision just kind of stops. It just exactly. helps you flow around the room. Very good input, I love that so much. I didn't feel, really think about the um, how it like goes around it, but then now that you mention it, um, if you have like an item, like in this case, and the corners are small, like you add additional small corners, right? Do you see like, even if you look at it from the side, if you would come from this angle here, you would see how it like almost perfectly fits and it just feels like it fits so much perfectly and so much better than having like a giant wall empty or like painting sphere while having this huge portion sticking out, for example. Yeah. yeah. Which is really nice. It, it just feels so much more like it's supposed to be there. It feels so much, first of all, it feels more realistic and second, it feels like it's supposed to be there, like where it actually belongs. Yeah. Which is really cool. So yeah, this is like a, just a very front to cover example. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I floated this white screen whilst you were having this little chat just to show you <laughs> what I meant about the texture on the bottom. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can- What the fuck? Yeah, I hate just, it! They just super glued two bits of wood together. You, That's all they did. You didn't have to show us that. <laughs> no, holy shit. Is it, is that, it's the texture- Look at the texture, it's like upscale too. Like, do you yeah, see yeah. it? It's like... <laughs> 
Oh yeah. That's so fucking stupid, holy shit! They legit took the texture, mirrored it, and like, scaled it up by like, 1.6 1. times. That's so yeah. sloppy. <laughs> this shit. basically murders any chance of really using this as a ceiling in like a really clean way, because you can't yeah. layer it anymore. You can't stack them perfectly, you, you know, your width's limited, it's just... Why? You could probably, if you want to use them for a ceiling, you could probably like, overlap them at the part where it's like starting to be wonky oh yeah and then stagger it out by a pixel as well to so put your rafter just there perfectly right exactly oh. <laughs> i don't well uh should we show off the other car i did uh, um sure, yeah. oh, hang on let low zero for this one <laughs> of course so this is a um another example for a more rustic thing beam because, you know, we had some uh, modern examples before with very clean corners. Um, but I want to show this one off, especially because... Um, so, what I had in mind initially is like two of those stone walls just colliding where I am right now, basically. And um, think of how it would be just a flat surface again, right? Like just two stone surfaces colliding. But adding a longer stone surface here too, it's just giving me the opportunity to me to make something there, it's like build anything. I, at first, my first thought was to build a staggered shelf, like not a staggered shelf, a um, recess shelf, which is what I did in the uh, uh, the uh, Kitari builds, right? I did the exact same thing. I just let it go out to the side a bit more and then had a smaller corner go around here like that. So basically what I did is not have like a symmetric corner. So it w wasn't like long wall, small corner small corner long wall but it was like random lengths which is really really organic and i like that look a lot actually because it just adds so much more realism to it because nothing especially back in the day if you go for something very immersive nothing is like pixel perfect that's like a modern thing symmetry is a very modern thing yeah uh, but having a bit of asymmetry just adds so much to it, which I really, really liked. So in this case, I just went for a door instead because I was thinking, oh, maybe someone can use this corner for a um, like an FC door entrance. You know, how, uh, some people ask me how I would do that um, because I usually don't work with the FC houses or like the doors, and I try to avoid it as much as, as much as possible. Um, but I was thinking, hmm, how do people actually like make the entrance look interesting? So what I came up with is basically like, if you would think that this door, like behind this, so you could click on it, would be VFC chambers. But I also added a bit of depth to it instead of having a flat wall, because you know how the door is just like on the flat wall, it's you just kind of boring. Yeah. So I was like, okay, just add some depth, like add additional corners to it, because adding corners is not only going to add texture, it's going to give you the, like we said before, it's going to give you the opportunity to work with shadows. It's gonna give you the opportunity to work with colors, especially because um, if you can, if you have watched our last podcast when we talked about um, about how color is gonna change the entire look of the room, um, imagine two walls colliding. Like let's say this, if it would be a diable wall, of course, and like you could change things out. Um, you could have a white wall here on the left. You could have a black wall here on the uh, where the door is. Another color here and another color there, just in theory, and you could like play with those colors a lot, gives you m much more opportunities than just having two flat walls, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, in this case, <laughs> not so much, I just used stone because I wanted to do something like uh, those those stone houses you see in Curvis. Well, I mean, we can build in real time just to show. Exactly, let's do that, I would say. So, um, I can also like make a quick example out of, um, what are they called? <laughs> the, uh, the jungle gym is like the center of a room. I was like, mm, where am I gonna do this? <laughs> yeah, can we get rid of it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep it there. We can go to the basement. We have plenty of space. Oh, okay, in the basement, yeah, you're right. right. We're not floating. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you have a bunch of rectangle walls, if I remember that correctly. Um. Wow. Did you know larges have basements, guys? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like it's just a lie. <laughs> They don't exist. <laughs> so let's say a corner. I can re. Oh, let me actually rebuild the, sh the entire shape of what we have upstairs in the with a stone, but like in a more modern, cleaner way. Maybe with different colored walls too. Yeah, I like it. Okay, 
Okay, so you're basically just replicating the stone wall structure, mm -hmm. and you're just yes. going to do it with flat walls right now. Yeah, just uh, just to give it more of a visual example. Okay, do you see how like I didn't go for a um, like I didn't do this, like for the fireplace for example. What I did is like I extended the wall to not be symmetrical. So. Oh yeah. Uh, also, I don't want to cut, but I just the way that we we just got tormented angel eight and when i read it the way it appeared on screen was torment dangle and i was like oh okay <laughs> oh fuck the torment dangle not again <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time thank you so much for the follow guys sorry if we uh i got a bit off track uh, sidetracked when i not sidetracked but i was a bit busy talking so i didn't <laughs> see your phone <laughs> um but yeah this is like do you see how like imagine and covered what we, what do you call them? Like you know when you have like an entrance to a house, but from the outside it's it has like a little roof over it and like porch. steps. It's a porch. Imagine not. Would you call that a porch? Okay, maybe that's. A, I'm thinking of a different thing. But you know, you see how like it would make sense on the outside too, right? Mm -hmm. And I like that idea. And this is why I had the window up here on this wall, for example, is just to sep separate, like make it look like the exterior is also interesting, while you don't know what the fuck the exterior actually looks like. Yeah. So I like that idea a lot. So. I think as, you was, as, as you were saying as well, we're moving this wall into like here. Mm -hmm. This corner is now nearly becoming not a corner. When oh, you right, actually look at it, gonna... you can just. You can almost make that like a hard 90, you know what I mean? It's, the visual yeah. interest isn't there. You pull it back, and then suddenly your eyes just pull around it. It flows again. Mm -hmm. Well, when you just have it so far out, it's just like... It gives you more, much more opportunity to, for like... For example, you can have a bat, like... But just just, just fucking hang on to it. You have a bat here, right? Like a feather yeah. bat? I think, uh, it, I think that's very similar to your big mansion, Ashen. You remember the one that you built with the like, staircase up uh, up to the large, to the second floor? Oh yeah, my first, yeah. Yeah, look at it. Doesn't that remind you a bit of it? It actually, yeah, I, mine... Yeah, that's basically it, right. It had the <laughs> yeah, recess. Exactly. It had the little recess bit, but yeah. Also, yeah. I don't know why I flown it in like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, what? Why? <laughs> I initially was gonna do a shuttered window, and I was like, "Wait, it's gonna snap to the." <laughs> okay, let me just keep going. Okay, okay, but you can you can replace it with sage pan, for example, too. But yeah, um, also as I was saying, instead of Ashen building it like this, you could like have a door here and come in and have this flat wall. But how hard would it be to decorate? Like, let's say you want to put a table there, for example, right? And like there, but the entrance is here, and it's gonna be a bit awkward. Wouldn't it be much more interesting to have it like, like that? If you have a big open space next to the bat, it seems more realistic to have it off to the side. And also, you can add something to the corner, like, um, and there's one post with the, uh, you know, how you place small things into corners. Like making those corners very small gives you the opportunity to go for the easiest, easiest uh, corner solution in real life. Fucking plants. Yes. So. Uh, they are always working so well, but if you place them in a in a big corner, it's not gonna look good. But in a small corner like that, easy peasy, it's like covered, like, like that's it. Oh fuck, I- oh no, I move. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean to what? remove what, what did you remove? I accidentally, I was still on the um, uh, place inventory section <laughs> option, so I was like, I will try to move them, but I removed them on accident. But yeah, something- <laughs> Something along all of those lines, yeah. With all of this, it's like, it's visual diversity, right? Like, mm -hmm. the more interesting your structure is, the less interesting everything else has to be. Oh yeah, you're right, now that I think about it. If you take, yeah, you take a completely what? square room, to make that be interesting, everything that you put in the room is what's doing it, the room itself isn't doing it. Yeah. You change the structure, you put the interest there, everything else, is suddenly less important. I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to do this like years ago. I think like uh, you know when I tried to do this one kind of cool office for Rhapsody's uh, client there. Um, that was like uh, Ashen, you remember for sure. It's like the one where I was building the uh, fireplace for the first time, and I was oh, like going yeah. for a chic. Yeah, I was that, like, that, that was a while ago. I would say almost two years. Yeah, two years. Holy shit. 
is a while, but um, I, I do have one thing. I often like to use, I don't do it as much anymore. Maybe if they introduce new uh, updated versions. I like to use pillars as a way to make a fake corner as well. And I also like to cap the corner with a, but I also would add it as def. Would you say that would be something? Or would that just be, again, just breaking up the wall, making it look interesting? Breaking up the wall. I would also say make it break up the wall, but I also think that um, having columns and corners makes it more structural sound, because that's yep. how it works in real life. Um, so it's not just like a decoration piece, but it's also like very important. It makes it look much more stable. Thing yeah. Is, the thing is with like a column or a pillar is, depending upon the size of it, you can kind of break the flow of how things look anyway, because you're basically giving it an official end. Mm -hmm. So obviously that can, you know, if you're trying to... If you're trying to like drastically kind of change styles between the walls, it's like the best thing to do, right? You can't just flow one style of wall into another, you need some sort of divider. Exactly, yeah. I like they to will... use the oriental partitions as a pillar, because they're about the thinnest one. But I know in my FC, I went I, and I capped the corners with pillars, because, um, again, just to break up the wall. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um. Okay, so what I built here, right, is just like, and, and think about it, how like the walls would extend over here, right? Um, so we have a very flat room, like nothing very special. But I'm gonna, not not with the pillars like Ashen said, but I'm gonna use the, just more stage panels, and I'm gonna show you the difference if you would add um, something like that to both of the corners. So, man, I hate. The way you grab those stage panels it just annoys me so much. <laughs> They're like, no touchy, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they like, oh my god. Respect my safe space. So let's put it here, and uh, is it symmetrical? Like, uh, if you want to go for something more modern, it would be better to have a symmetrical. And if it's like, uh, on both of the sides? Especially there, I think that's like very, very cool. Uh, so we gonna have it like like this and like let me grab you there you go don't quote me on this <laughs> oh buddy jesus okay so like that basically and do you immediately see how much better it is to actually place stuff in there because as we sat upstairs uh just adds so much more stuff and I failed to complete housing action. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> you put a window there immediately. You were like... <laughs> this needs light. This needs light immediately. And then, of course, you can fill up the corners if you're using stage panels yes, like that. please fill in the studs. <laughs> yeah. Don't be no lazy. One, no one likes them. Those are ugly. Don't do it. <laughs> no matter what, just put something there at least to cover it up. And if you're using different kinds of partitions, um. There's something I really, really used to do a lot, and I still do it a lot, actually. Glade. Um, this you Glade, exactly. Do I have them on me, actually? I don't think I do. I, I have some I, of the we wallpaper have them ones, in yeah. No, it's just like, you know... Like, if you go for a corner, look at how well those pillars work with each other. Mm. That is just so beautiful. Just and ignore I... the, the texture glitching, but yes. <laughs> Yeah, of course, but you barely notice it too, so it's just- uh, Yeah, I love the edges of these. These need to come back. I used to do them a lot, but I kind of like went for different styles since I've done them the last time. But of course, they're still best in slot for woods. Like, I mean, look look, look at that. Look at those pillars. Like, look at you, you the You need nice to put one right here to cap it. Right there. I'm gonna do it. Hang on, give me a second. <laughs> What's the whispering necessary? Okay, there we go. I capped it all. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Remember that house oh, we visited on the tour, the Aether tour? It was that uh, goblet, uh, old uh, embassy kind of. It was Zelger, Zelgadars. I I'm Zelgadars. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. That was that was like that too, right? Oh, that was so nice. I just love because like it just adds so much to a structure. Like having a flat wall is just so boring. Like having it like. Like this. Like... Uh... There. Yeah. Okay. I, or like, oh, this is what I see people do a lot. Don't do that. You oh, have like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
So you see first of all the corner, and you can't carve it up because of the uh, railing of uh, trim, trim, yeah. And so uh, if you can do it like that, much better. Yeah, use mm -hmm. use it to your advantage. I mean, it's there for a reason. Mm-hmm. I use them like I just use the, the straight up um, edges of it like like this for wall decorations even, just to make it more structural sound like we talked about before. Because structure is something that people glance over. They like build a wall and then they go for like, how do I fill the space instead of thinking about how they fill the space by using the structure itself. In my opinion, that's like very uh, underrated. Yeah. So but, yeah. But nowadays, a lot of the builds they have these clean white walls. So mm -hmm. your alternative is to just jet things out and break up the room as much as you can. Yeah, and like especially for clean walls, it is important that you can't overclutter them because that's gonna be like extremely off theme, especially if you go for something modern. Use the walls for your advantage instead of having the, the urge to fill the, uh, the walls out, especially if they're light, because that's not gonna help you. That's make, gonna make it much worse and gonna it's gonna make you want to change the entire theme in the end too, because it's, it doesn't feel modern anymore because you just just slammed a cheese rack in there, for example, yeah. and called it, you called it quits, because that's what I see a lot of people do, and it's like, yeah, use something more cleaner, something more according to a structure. The more modern you get, the kind of cleaner the walls are, the more the structure becomes important, and the less you actually want to clutter it anyway. At a certain yeah. point, you want to let it breathe, so the structure has to be the thing that kind of takes precedence of that. In my opinion, the key to a modern build is not how you come up with like crazy clean furniture itself, but how the entire layout is. Like, look at what was built here in the corner. Was who who did this? Oh, yeah, I think that's uh, that was uh, what you did right just now, right? Since yeah, this just is, look at this is my prime example of leading the eye. It's like, oh, you know where to go. It's like a nice corridor kind of thing. Like, put a table here, put some windows across this wall. Like, there's so many things you could do, like, immediately. And just having so much texture here with the shadows, as you like walk around the corner, the, the texture changes and the light levels change. You already know just by looking at the entrance of this, we're seeing that one wall extending further than the other. You know it's going somewhere. Yeah, definitely. It's leading you down it. You want to walk down it. You want to look down it. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's asymmetry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good segue. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I'll give the mic to you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, this is all gonna be sick because I've been asking him all week. Like, is this asymmetric? And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel yeah. When you were building stuff, he was like, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, so asymmetry and corners are basically they're completely married to each other, right? Something can't be asymmetric in structure without there being a corner. The entire point of asymmetry is just, it's simply, it's visual interest. Like Div showed upstairs with his thing we did, where the corner kind of came round and splits it up, flows round. It's asymmetry, say it's just a corner, but it is, as but it, you know, it is asymmetric, as long as it's not married on the other side. All you're doing is you're just kind of, you're creating something different for the eyes, something to hook you. So, it's all well and good, you know, like the, what you've just built down here with the two matching corners, right? It's great, it looks fantastic. Now if one corner comes in further than the other, so, I mean, Ashen's over there doing stuff, so let me meddle while she's <laughs> doing that. <sighs> Just take it. It's Just yours. Take it. <laughs> oh yeah, just take it, just take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I love this, like, I love this so much already, because, ah, oh. Right, it's, it's visual interest, right? That's mm -hmm. all it is. The sides are now different, both are staring at you in different ways, so you want to look at both of them. When everything's the same, it's very easy to skip your eyes past it. That's very true, and you can do so many different things too, like, on while this longer uh, wall you have... The opportunity to have like shelvings or other furniture that yep. isn't just like able to fill this space out. I have to kind of go on with what Ashen was saying about the whole uh, getting confused about asymmetry. Let me pull out some stage panels. So, very confusing thing with it. 
You know when you get a perfectly square room and you recess one area to put a wardrobe in it? And then you put the wardrobe in it, and you really think about it and suddenly the room's, the room's square again, right? Yeah, because you fill the you Oh, fill like, the like if you're going to fill this spot, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if your wall comes out to like here, and you fill this spot, suddenly it's no longer asymmetric. Yeah. You've just made a symmetrical room, but you've tricked yourself. <laughs> like you played, you, you actually played yourself. Yeah. Either you can do that, and, uh... Oh, actually, hang on, I'll let you finish before I continue. Yeah, so, if you... Have we actually got any more stage panels? Yeah, I'm stealing. I'm, st I'm stealing from the other side. Yes, Correct. just steal them. It's fine. Like that's flat again. Yeah. Already. Yeah, it's just a recess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this so, is um, so. If we take this out, you can go. Oh look, the you know, your visual diversity, your asymmetry, but it's not real. Yeah. You put it back in, and suddenly. It's symmetrical again. The visual interest is gone. You know there's a wardrobe there, but you look straight down that wall. You come at it from the side. You just look straight down it. Nothing's hooking. Especially if it's like an item that people use a lot, or like the bookshelves, and it's like nothing specific or where you can actually see the back of a wall. For example, if you just use some shelving instead of like an entire shelf. Yeah. But what you could do to avoid this, um. Extending the wall, so instead of stopping it here, you just put it further back, and then you can add the bookshelf. And then it's further back. Yep. It has depth, yep. and you can still have it there. But it's you will know, you will still see that there's much more there to come. As much as I hate to kind of say it, why do you think people love reading nooks so much? They're always I off to one side, the little isolated kind of areas. They break from kind of everything else. Yeah. They're interesting. Yeah, we're like we're like fucking cats. We like like we like being surrounded by walls. We just we just want things to look at that make us want to look at them. We're magpies for structure. That's all it is. But we never really notice it. Like we never think about it. We just know. And this is why like many builds these days, especially modern ones, are that have a lot of heights and heights and lows, and also like lots of shapes are so interesting to us and so good because no one's gonna look at a just a fucking cube and gonna go like oh yeah that's that's amazing if it's not heavily decorated because you have to fill out the space but if you use the structure itself to fill out the space pog big yeah. pog with, really with cool. a, it, well in my opinion with a modern build it should already look really good before you put a single bit of actual furniture down that simple. The structure should carry it so much that you look at it and just go, alright, that's good. It's true, yeah. Carry both structure. Well, yeah, you can't clutter. You can't go overboard with furniture. Mm hmm. If you make of a course, it's build one day, Dim. As much Actually... as I like. As but, much as I like the theory, like, I like the theory and how it, like, what a kind of effect it has on people and the color stuff. But I just hate it in Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, love, I love modern builds in Sims 4. I built a lot of modern in Sims 4, actually. <laughs> but I hate it so much in Final Fantasy because I don't like the way it's like integrated in the game world and how many of the items you use look out of place. Of course, people can make it work. Well, we can I make it work? No. <laughs> we had discussed at one point to just create layouts for people and then they can add the furniture. Yeah, I, fun, I would yeah. like to do that. If anybody Honestly, would like to hire me. <laughs> Honestly, if, how about I make a stru modern structure for you and you build something inside it? Now the thing is, <laughs> I'll make a structure, but it, okay, guys, it's gonna be 20 feet in the air. Have fun glitching <laughs> the bed on there. Or above the stairs, something like Sounds that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds absolutely perfect. I love it so much. Oh yeah, uh, also thank you, I just, I forgot to mention, thank you for the, uh, little, uh, shelf idea here, uh, Chloe, I just saw it on FD and Work in Progress, but I haven't replied yet, but I liked it a lot, just really cool. And again, I just didn't fill out the entire width of the, uh, stone here, just a part of it, so you can see it stick out a bit, just like we talked before with Synth. Yeah, and that, and that does sound fun, right? I actually did that for two people on Fanfury, I made 
an entire structural layout and they just filled it in with their stuff and uh it's not actually not that difficult and honestly i did it so fast i think what me as a designer i can do the structure really quick it's filling in everything and making sure it's gonna like okay this is this furniture gonna work that's what hey i get such a block like a mental block doing that yeah, I I don't know about you guys, but like this is the reason why I hate Batman, for example, like building ceilings in general, is the fact that you have to pre-plan the structure because throughout the entire build until the very end, I change the entire structure around constantly, like all of the time because yeah. sometimes sometimes I just notice, hey, I can't I can't do anything with this corner. What am I gonna do with it? I I hate corners, so I just inverted and put had a structural corner there, um, and it works. It works every single time I've done it so far. Because that's, it just that's so funny. Cause Sint and I, he got to see my process, <laughs> and it's much like yours. I I do not have a set idea. Like he and I, we were doing the uh, the HDS at the HDXIV FC, and he was like, okay, we're going to do the walls, and we're going to float it up. And I'm like, but why? Why can't we just... <laughs> yeah. Why can't we just throw things down and then change our minds later? And he's like, what? I am yes. the complete odd duck in this conversation, seriously. I... Yeah, but it's so weird. <laughs> I make so many mental blueprints before I do anything. Like, I am so certain that it's absolutely fine before I even put a single wall down. And then you float everything up, and then you have to stick to it. You can't change things around because you have to refloat everything and realign things, especially. Like, I've, I've I could really never do that. To. I've never really had to change anything. Exactly. I, I just, I don't understand. I, I, I change my mind so much. I'll, I'll Same. get something going and I'm like, ooh, that works. Ooh, I should put it on this side. Oh, well, guess I gotta tear it down. I mean, so <laughs> e even with that study I did where I didn't use an actual wall, I just kind of built the shape, put the ceiling up, and then just kind of, I just went round it left to right. And it was done. Yeah, it's, it's I didn't nuts. have to change anything in the process. I envy it after watching yeah, the, way, the way he did it, because then there's me, and I'm just so chaotic, and I don't understand how anything I do gets done. Same. Okay, actually, but, but for in my case, no, I, I, nothing really gets done in general, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's so weird, though, like... I, if we... I had a discussion with a friend uh, the other day where um, we were talking about if I would, how would things for us as designers change if they gave us the opportunity to place things the way we want? Like they give us the option to place on an item and have those little strings of X and Y uh, coordinates that we can manipulate. Like just moving it up by like a few pixels and stuff like that and it stays in that place too. And I was thinking like, fuck, this is gonna be not as interesting anymore, <laughs> ironically. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. make it much more... I'm gonna make the... Holy shit, I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Like, don't get having, me wrong. Having to overcome the difficulty of it is where the yes. fun actually is. The challenge is the fun. It is so yeah. weird. But then I think about that... Uh, I think about it now, right? But I know in the future I'm not gonna think the same way. Because back then, when I was playing Fallout 4 and I was building there, um, I did not have the opportunities to float things. I, c I couldn't even place things close to a wall because I just didn't have the... It's like... Think like the restrictions in houses with a wall, ex actual walls and furniture, just two times worse. Um, this is what Fallout 4 was like. And then they released a script which basically allowed you to place them everywhere you want, you can manipulate it through the console too, you could just do everything. And the community had such a glow up, like the entire like building community in Fallout 4, since that script was released, just exploded with creativity. And honestly, if they would release something like that, holy shit. I'm l I would look forward to it, but I would, like, it's still... The I think the serotonin I get from <laughs> 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 For overcoming that struggle will be replaced by what I can actually create that I wasn't able to before, honestly. I'm just I'm gonna undermine this whole conversation by saying build in the air forehead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah, I was about to say, when's the last time you actually made like a totally vertical high build? Because when I was tearing down my house yesterday, I kind of forgot how high I did everything. Mm -hmm. Like it was 
up to here. My second floor. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. I'm dumb. Please don't be like me. I remember you jumping out of your shower to like actually halfway up the stairs. Yeah, just like, what? right here. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was ridiculous. And the reason I did this was because the first, um, the first thing I did for my house was I made a buffer zone, and it was actually supposed to be layered on top of each other. So I had the first floor, and then I was supposed to have like a dead zone where furniture could poke through, and then you would be on top, like a realistic house. But without for you yeah. know, so but that didn't work out, and I instead like built way far out, and I kept the height like a dumbass. Oh my god! <laughs> so, I mean, I've obviously just built in the air recently, and the main reason I did it was because it let me do things that are literally impossible otherwise. True. So With like. Certain yeah. snapping points and stuff exactly. like that. There's, a, there's only so high you can bring some things from the basement, right? Like it's, it's, true. Uh, it's yeah. a level. It, it's it's a creativity that you wouldn't actually get to see without doing it. Hmm. I'll show a work in progress. I'm building in the air completely in a medium. Oh Jesus! And it fucking sucks because I have to do the floor. So the floor right now is too low for just an easy flooring mat. So I have to actually yeah. manually. Oh, I can Lego. see what you mean. I remember, like the last time I built vertically, and I think this was one of the first times I did. It wasn't the uh, Trios for Chloe, the Guitar one. Um, and I just I wanted the floor so badly, like the very very rustic floor, and that was so cool. Look. Yeah. So ugh, so I'm building. Floor. Do you see the height that I have to build at right now? This is going to be pretty much the entire house. It is at such an awkward angle. It's going to be about right there. I think is what I measured it at. <laughs> what Midori said. That looks like hell and holy. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm doing, the floor mat's too high. The floor mat is as tall okay. as me. So let me show you the basement if I... Okay, yep, yeah, see? So this is the basement. I'm going to use ink and bookshelves. <laughs> and I'm gonna float it all up. I've been mapping it. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna happen. Oh, that's so smart. It's also easy to get it in place, and it's very like clean. <laughs> the door's like, this is a question. I, oh my god. I I don't want to be that person, but you know, if you'd built it like a tiny bit higher, you would have none of this issue, right? No, I'm not. I don't want to. This is <laughs> what I'm doing. Like, mm -mm. You've got a little bit higher. No, this is this is. <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's going to look hot. Just let me just go crazy with this build. <laughs> and now is that also you're the one buying out all the bookshelves. I think she's creating all of it I, on her own. Yeah, actually, I am the one buying out all the bookshelves. And then I got sent to just do it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like... Man, I wish I would have your energy to craft things because I would save so much money. Because, like, I'm... I'm always constantly around those 30 million I'm saving for the large Ishgat house. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not gaining or losing anything. I just like constantly am around the same number. But I think if I would just create things on my own on Chaos, it would be just much easier to just save money, actually. I mean, it would, I, help, it would help if you took a commission where you actually got paid for it. Listen, <laughs> this probably now there. I... Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I... I could have. <laughs> okay. I, I, sometimes I have the opportunity to. Okay. Hang on. Sometimes I have the opportunity to, be, to actually be paid, right? But then I feel so bad because you don't know what people have to put. You know what people have to put up when they commission me with me. Like, <laughs> you know what I. Now, can you give me like 20 of those banker tables? I'm not actually <laughs> what I use. Oh, don't worry, Dev. I won't fool you. Yvette's now got 60 hanging planter shelves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. At least, at, at least he used... Oh, yeah. You I didn't, didn't use a single one. one. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. I used two. I used two. I used two out of 60. All right. Like... <laughs> so, let's see. How far are we into stream right now? We're about almost an hour. Uh, do you... We want to free build. We can take some community requests. Oh yeah, you guys, um, so now we've talked about all the corner stuff and asymmetry and symmetry, so is there something you guys might want to see us do, uh, base, either based on that, we can just do anything you guys tell us to, um, 
Don't quote me on that. Yeah, please don't let us float things weirdly in the air, alright? That's my life for the next week. I'll do it. Built something on top of a staircase all the way to the ceiling of a mansion. Done. Oh, you Easy. know what? No problem at all. I'll do it. Somebody, Happy day. Somebody wanted to... It was in our ass. Somebody wanted to build right here, and you know what? I, I, it's not possible to like float furniture up. Oh, yeah, because you can't get into yeah, the void like, behind it. Yeah, the house physically stops right here. <laughs> Oh, which, which is so lame. Good. They they they, <laughs> they force this on you, and you can't even get it underneath. I was thinking about um. Is there anything you wanted to build, Div? Because you have this going. It looks really good. I can get you a bear skin rug. Don't you like those? Do you like those? <laughs> no, I hate them. You like them. No, you like him. <laughs> when have I ever said, woo, you know what this room needs? A bearskin bear shitty rug. pixel rug. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna use this layout for, um, maybe for a commission later. If anyone wants to actually pay me money on Chaos. I, I'm not gonna finish for like three months, but I'm gonna use this somehow, three probably. Months. I agree, though, about commissioning. Um, I do want to do commissions for people, but I take so long. I take so long, <laughs> and and sometimes I just uh, the last couple commissions I took for people, I just wanted to log in and play instead of just be stuck in a house. Aww, so I would same, and then I go do something, and then I get a message like, "Hey, you're doing this. Aren't you supposed to be doing?" It? And it's like, "Ooh, I should." <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? I don't who's, know. Who's messaging, messaging someone saying, Hey, you know what you should be doing right now? Let me tell you what yeah. to do with your time. Piece of shit. Oh god. So it's just, it's too much stress. But I do, I, I want to take commissions because I, I like building for people. Same. But, uh, oh well. I like building for people that are my wavelength. Wave, wavelength. Yeah, and I don't, I don't even mind like not being able to... Sometimes... Uh, I talk to designers and they're like, oh, I get to do whatever I want, which sounds great, but I don't mind taking a commission if somebody wants me to do something specific. Because I, I enjoy wanting to build for them a theme that they like. It really depends what if you're good, even if you're good with a theme or like you want to test something new. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes I had some, I had some people, recently someone asked me, uh, a friend of mine asked me if, um, I can do a near build, so something like a mo like the bunker from near automata, um, or automata, depending on where you come from. Um, and I was like, yeah, I I'm good with metal stuff at this point, but it's still like this mixture of like very clean white. And I was like, I don't know if I can do that, but now I'm considering it because I'm like, maybe it's something I should try. Maybe it's something I would like, because usually I don't like clean white, it's just not my thing, but maybe, maybe that's something I'd like to do. Oh, I wish I could remember this house. It was, uh, it, uh, someone, Soul Ashami built it, I might have them friended. Do you remember that house sent, we visited, and it was, the it had that really, like, crazy entrance, and it was all marble. He might have stayed away. <laughs> Goodbye, Sint. Goodbye. Was nice you. Uh, let's see. Do I have her? Maybe, maybe do you have a picture of it? No, but it was really impressive. It's kind of what you're talking about. No, I don't have her. If you're watching, friend me. Uh, we, we can build. Okay, so I'm going to be really weird here a second. I am in the uh, mindset of finishing this house. I don't know if it's like this for you, Div. But when I have to mm -hmm. break away and build and do something, I physically can't. I'm like the Daniel Day-Lewis method <laughs> acting of, <laughs> like, in the, I, I am doing this. I cannot do anything else right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> do you understand? Oh, my God. I, I know what you mean. So, you remember when I was, like, stuck for a weekend just doing one build, which is very uncommon for me? <laughs> I was legit spending every single hour of the day, like, okay, of course, not every single one, like, obviously, but I was, like, 
not able to raid. I wasn't. I was. I had to raid on the Saturday. And I was like, oh, sorry, my guys, my my mind. Like I wiped us two times in fucking round move. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, sorry guys, I was thinking about my house. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't tell them that I was thinking about the house, but I was. <laughs> oh, hey Kai. So she wants to build with wood. I know somebody who built walls with just wood and no real walls. Ah, uh, yeah. They have this one for you, mate. No! <laughs> you, what? You! Uh, your study! Ah, your studies. We can give it a looky-loo. Yeah, let's go for it. We can actually just go check it out, honestly. Oh. Just wood. Yeah? Alright, let's do that then. I'm going. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I'm coming on my own later. <laughs> Wait, where is it, actually? It's Crystal, Brynhilda. Uh, is it in Goblet or something? Uh, I'm having the best. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. My I'm, Nama. I, I like this. Dirty. I often build, or I used to. I, I don't know if you remember some of my older builds, Div. Which, you know, you made a suggestion to go back to our older builds and make it better. Mm -hmm. Which I agree with. And actually, I, I was going to say, I did that with my FC. I kept the structural integrity of my FC. I just built around it. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, I see. So what I was thinking about is like, um, taking the exact same thing that we went for back then and we thought looked good, which obviously V says it's outdated, um, and just rebuilding the same concept. So, um, oh, do you, I don't think anyone knows of this, but my first, like, housing thing was like in an apartment and I really want to rebuild this because it was like a study too, and I really want to do that in the same structure. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that is so beautiful. I love it so much. What did you use for the backs? Manor bookshelf? Yes, so anytime there's any bit of wood paneling, it's manor bookshelves. Um, Very clean. On most of them, it's got the bit of kind of trim at the bottom of it, gold trim. Mm -hmm. um, so I just either had singular ones, tried to frame them by themselves, or two of them, and I doubled them up to meet in the middle. And let me put the address in chat in case anyone yeah. wants to check it later. It's really good because we take the ba the texture of the um the texture of the uh, manor uh, bookshelf is just very clean and high quality too. Like it's not Loris, it's very very detailed. And it's old yeah. shit. Yeah. It's from ARR. It's like one think, of the first well textured. The thing with it is it, it dies a little weird. It, it does. does like so, every, the white especially. It's like very very dark gray. Yeah, it tends to get a little dark. The Default color looks like a normal brown until you shine some light on it and you start to realize it gets weirdly green. green? <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, it's weirdly green. But uh, I mean, I like it. I like the texture of it. Now, uh, the, the cons I would say of building without an actual wall is you had to go around and put yeah. windows behind it, right? I had to basically bed metal the walls using either imitation windows or stage panels as much as I can. So there's a few areas where you can and will come through it, obviously. Um, but generally, it's got pretty good camera collision. I love that you actually go for the camera collision even in that place. Man, I just really like how you use this. I, I saw you struggle. I, I saw it, and especially that floor, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just. I didn't really want to use walls, basically. I didn't yeah. want to use actual walls. When I was building this, I intended to build a floor with just um, wall-mounted items, so using partition walls was completely out of the question for me anyway. Um, but the further I got into it, the more I realized there was no partition I could use that would actually fit it, like, stylistically. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, thank you for the um, bits, Ellie. I really appreciate it. Um, can you accept my friend request? I want to teleport to oh, you. I, can't. I don't have teleport on this. You got it right. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah the, the windows are really handy the for the camera collision. Yeah. I use them a lot instead of walls for obvious reasons. Like, if you don't want something snapping to a wall. Just remember, just flip a window around. Uh, can I get a, to the back so we can see? Yeah, just clip out through one of the windows. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a mess out here. <clears throat> That's just... Yeah, that's just what you want to do. I can't even do. get out! Ah, okay. Get out of the window. <sighs> Walk through, but not see through. 
Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, holy shit. It's always fun to look at uh, things from the outside because you just see how much, like... Imagine coming up with something like that. It's just, like, you don't think about it. Oh, what the yeah. fuck is going on? Oh, okay, it's a... I just saw it's a cheese rex, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, we want to do the screenshots of like where we are, like every single person is like in one cubicle almost. <laughs> when you do yeah. those feelings. <laughs> oh, it was Brad, not Chase? Sorry. His secrets, no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, um, definitely try to build more with. Uh, I add it as texture. I don't think I'd ever go as crazy as this. Just because, unfortunately, the game doesn't support it with the item slots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very yeah, true. I was I was down to the wire on item slots and obviously this is I mean let's be realistic, this is pretty small. And building in the air didn't cost me any slots. If it was on the floor it still would have been the exact same. But I don't know, there's plenty of options for wood texturing. I tried to diversify it as best as I could, but I did cover a lot of what would be walls with just actual furniture instead. But that's what lent itself to this bit. But, I mean, I've uh, layered up a bunch of bread racks and stuff, took the paneling, um, even on these ones with the mana bookshelves, they're all capped with sort of wardrobes to kind of bring the variance to it. Whole walls wood, but it's, you know, basically like two tone as far as wood goes. Oh, you know what? Looking at this, this reminds me, and I was considering it for my for my renovation. I wanted to take these disordered wardrobes and, like, the, I guess the cheese as well, and make them <laughs> higher, but make them into a panel wall and just a tiny bit of mm -hmm. a real wall, like like one of those old fashioned paneled <sighs> walls. Yeah, it's like medieval, like. Medieval country, country, basically something like that. Yeah, because I don't see it too often. Obviously, I, I like the baseboards. I just want to bring it up higher and just make a tiny bit, make the trim the smooth wall. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know you've seen the uh, the Hingen one I made with the wardrobes and the um, unfinished wallpaper, right? That is a panel wall. I know you've seen yeah. that one. I like that kind of stuff. Something which gives you know the texture to the actual wall. Suddenly the wall can be a feature despite the fact it's nearly flat. I will never get used to it, uh, to the white unfinished walls. Like, everything that is uh, that is telling me this is also a default one, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something about it is just like so weird. I think maybe it's just like the weird white kind of wood texture it's because you know it's like it's realistic right like you would just like throw a bunch of paint onto wood playing some that's it right like it, it is an unfinished wall after all but it's like a concept for me that is like as a european we don't have wooden walls ever, anywhere <laughs> so it's like very weird to me <laughs> maybe it's yeah. not i like we like in our like unusual housing we don't use wood for walls yeah, here, I'll build something really quick on stream. Ooh. Just really quick, because I, I, I'm i in a wall mood. In a wall mood? I just have to grab it. I hope it's in the uh, HGX. Actually, I should have asked you. Because <laughs> you, you, you can just go into storage. Oh, okay. So, uh, what is it? I, what it's, you want? it's too late. I'm already on. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. But uh, what is it that you have plan in mind, actually? Tell us about it. I am going to do that panel wall and make just basically what I just said. I'm going to make that panel wall. I think I made like 20 cheese things and I never used it because I scrapped the idea at the time. Yeah, that's what usually happens to me too. But I, instead of crafting it myself, I tell others to do it and then they hate me. It still blows my mind that you haven't keybound your housing menu. I hope you know this. Let me live, alright? Wait. Oh, it's you... in the corner as well, like... Wait, you keep... Oh, yeah, I don't do yeah. that. I'm it's not, a, I'm not a pro gamer. You don't uh, want to see how it looks for me. It's like in the top right corner for me to click it every single time. This is oh, coming from the guy who has a special class just for housing. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, my housing class. What's the issue with it? Wait, how's it? Oh, so you have like the HUD layout when you swatch, uh, swapped it? No, I just used Thorn. 
So I just take off my jobstone on Black Mage, and then uh, my keybinds are just like housing menu, way that's markers, smart. stuff that's like that. Yeah. Smart way to use the uh, the uh, non drop crystal. <clears throat> and then I just I just hide everything on my UI as well, so I'd like it's just pointless clutter, just housing did... menu stuff like that. I did this for Herman German when I was building the lab, so I like I made it super clean so people don't complain because I already have like a dancing stola and a ba uh, yeah. uh, baked potato can already on my screen. Um, so you've seen some of my, you've probably seen some of my guide videos, there's like nothing on the screen, right? And it's literally because like, there is nothing on my screen. Like it's Which... that simple, everything's just turned off when I'm doing housing. Do you have like a large screen too, so it's like you do, guys yeah. are very small in general? Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen Tate's stream, like Golden Todd, right, on Twitch, and I don't know how he pl I didn't know how he played like that, because like, he, I couldn't see the uh, little icon. <laughs> I couldn't see his hot part, because it was so small, but everything else was so big. I was like, how do you play like that? Then I kind of realized it's probably the same size for him as yeah. for me, but his entire screen is just like... Let me send Gigantic. you a picture directly. Hold on, let me oh, send no. you this. Because I I use fake hotbars for actual combat. So I use um, keybound ones just to kind of make it as visible as I can. And then I just have I a saw... little, little center island. I saw a streamer who was like... Uh, he had like half of his paladin skills not not on his screen. And people yeah. kept asking him, where the fuck are your skills? Paladin doesn't have only those skills. And he was like, oh yeah, I just know when they're up. I just don't have them keybinded. I mean, loads, <laughs> also, loads of years of playing WoW, if it hasn't got a cooldown, why do I need to see it? It's true. Oh, also, since I'm here, I wanted to point out, I got this true. idea from Mika. Remember when we went and visited her? And she had that really cool... Uh, yeah, holy shit. Yeah, have you Aces Corner Table. Or whatever the name was. Yeah, I like it. It's hot. That's like... That's so basically... I, I wanted it over the kitchen. But I don't hate myself that much, and I accidentally... <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you guys. So I, it took me forever to float this, and I grabbed this one at the very last bit, and I storage placed it, and I had to redo it, and I was crying. Oh my god. Holy shit. You go through a lot of pain for a nice house. Housing... What was it? The, the way to housing is suffering? Yep. <laughs> But I like the texture of it. It's like for wall planters that Synth wanted, but on the ceiling. <laughs> I, I I still might do it over the stairs, guys. I'm I'm that crazy. It's just I like consistency, and I wanted it to blend. And then the I'm gonna have like a courtyard. I'm gonna have uh, yeah. I have all these ideas. Oh yeah. So we had been talking about a courtyard. Remember that stream where we were like, oh, we should do like a courtyard and like you can yeah, see well, the like, other well, room. Well, I was like, yeah, wow, I am gonna do a courtyard. I'm gonna do like a modern Japanese. I'm doing weeps shit again. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm oh, gonna do a modern Japanese so courtyard, cool. and it's gonna be like a deck that you can walk out on, and then you can go to the separate rooms. Yeah, I remember the stream. I was like, you know how you have like walkways with full courtyards, and I was like, hang on a second. And he tried to stop. <laughs> and I was like, and then um, the person who also asked me for the uh, if I could do the near but I was like, can I do courtyard? <laughs> can I do castle courtyard instead of a near <laughs> And she was like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so, and I feel regret now. <laughs> because like they wished for something entirely different. I was like, can I do something completely different? But maybe someday, like, I hope I could do it. Maybe we could do, like, you. I like, each of us is gonna do courtyard, but, like, with a different theme. So I'm gonna do a castle courtyard, um, which is, like, partially Roman-inspired. You do your Asian-Japanese one, and then the others do something else, too. Does, Just a, like, food, like... does a food court count as a courtyard? <laughs> Make sure you put a Taco uh, Bell and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just make those entire logos out of uh, plastic bags, like uh, the paper bags, but like other people do it. Too. Yeah, 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 just just Who, let me make just let me make the home of the Whopper. No big deal. Who was the person that exploded on Twitter when they built this one clothing shop, like the mall clothing shop? That was uh, you know. Oh, I I know which one you're on about. Yeah, was it Mika? No, it wasn't Mika. No, it was Toru. 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 Okay. Toru. I see. Yeah, but like, I was thinking about something like a Hot Topic, a Taco Bell next to each other, something like that. <laughs> Man. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know shit about American malls. They're not around all I, anymore. <laughs> all, all I know is it's pronounced, it's pronounced Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle? <laughs> Chipotle? <laughs> Chipotle, yeah. Chipotle. <laughs> Endangered species. But yeah, the fastest places to still run, like, no way around it. But at this point, you can even... What is the, like, what do you guys order with, like, Postmates? No, you don't order food with that, right? Like, that's just for something. That's just delivery in general, right? What? What do you guys use Postmates for? Oh, you, you don't, sit, but, like, Ashen, I'm speaking to you. Oh, oh, we use, uh, like, Uber Eats and shit like that. Oh, Uber Eats, okay, okay. Oh, like Deliveroo, that kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, Kai said there's several different delivery, and I was like, there's several DILF delivery, and I was like, DILF. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, sure, sign me up. You are a daddy. Road daddy. Thanks so far, Pell Power. <laughs> Tormented Dingle. Torment Dingle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Torment my Dingles. My Jingle Jangle Jingles. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I, I just love Jingle Jangle Jingle. Like all, all I'm honestly hearing at this point is just punish me. Do you want to hear that or? I don't know. I mean, it's Saturday. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's punishment Saturday, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, oh cottage core, dude. <laughs> we were talking about this recently too. All right, so the word cottage sometimes I understand it's cute, and it's, but when you mix it with like core, I always think of like cottage cheese and how gross it is, and it just it to my mind it's just cottage core is just ugh. Yeah, it sounds... <laughs> Honestly, I hear cottagecore and I just think of old women throwing down to hardcore punk. So... Holy shit. That sounds <laughs> kinda cool, honestly. Big fan. Just dentures <laughs> flying in a mosh pit, you know. Dentures? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no yeah, okay. this is after dark. After the yeah. one hour mark, it's after dark time. No one's breaking limbs, but those replacement hips are slipping. You know, good stuff. <gasps> Alright, so I- a woman that I can take the hip off her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm, think I'm thinking of doing a panel wall like this maybe one day? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Are you feeling spicy? Never. I'm very <laughs> bland. <laughs> And I just, I just like the combination of, at this point, I really, I saw some really cool combinations between, like, darker trimmings and, like, uh, just brown walls, brown trimming, but, like, a lighter brown wall, but a darker brown uh, trimming, which I really liked. That mm -hmm. was kind of cool. Also, thank you so much for the uh, 100 bits, Elia. Appreciate it. I didn't see it earlier. Yeah, that was for Synth's build. Hell yeah. Can... We need, I need to look into how bits work, by the way. We don't, yeah, we don't get yeah, this. We, we, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we were just kind of like new to the Twitch thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I do when I build. Um, I like to just float random lights around to see what the light oh, yeah, is going that. to be. So you see how nice the lights look up against this paneling? So mm -hmm. it's like, oof, yeah, oof, that's hot. Oh yeah, that's all, I like that. Apart from this dodgy shadow here. Get the fuck out. Yeah, of that's just a bit cursed, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a cone, do you see it? <laughs> oh no, just looks like someone needs to scrub this wall more. <laughs> That's just how it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have a laugh, leave me alone. <laughs> See? Now, love, this is the thing. Ashen is just like... I don't like laughs, I don't flow with them. Blah blah blah. Yeah, well, I, I am for some things, but you know, when it comes to having to do things in front of people, I perform very badly, I guess. <laughs> look, at, look at the le uh, the fucking avatar kind of error. Arrow on the, uh, Oh wall. yeah, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. I was experimenting. Yo, I gotta show the others later the, um... The weird light strip we saw earlier. So do you remember, like, the, the thing I was mentioning with yeah. the very long window? 
Yo, we should pre hang on. I'm gonna while you do this, I'm gonna try to get this working again because that's a such a cool trick. Oh, I have I, never oh I, I'm yet. done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> like. I'm gonna t uh, take the ceiling down. Hang on, let's see. So because... that light strip. Do you remember? Do you remember my medium on Zodiac? Hmm. That light strip is the only reason that I bothered to actually build like a block over the actual main chandelier because I just had this strip of light through the whole build, and I was just like, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, oh that... yeah, actually, Div, I wanted to show you that twenty-man snowman butt light I did. Excuse me. We, we were talking about. <laughs> don't worry about it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we, okay, hang on. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to get this right. It was very interesting when I first saw this, definitely. So I was like, hmm, I gotta use it somehow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it, but definitely somehow. Girls only want one thing. <laughs> and it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, I did it, Ashen. Oh, I I'm coming back. I need to grab all yep. these butts. Oh, well, oh uh, yeah, oh, also, uh, by the uh, way, sure. some, somebody <laughs> in asked, was, they said they want, were wondering if the offer's still open to get butts from me. Yes, you need to PM me. I'm not chasing you down, okay? If you want them, you have to ask me. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm getting all of those ash and crystal? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I need them on crystal. How many do you need? A lot. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do you think I'm made of butts? I, I, I'm not sure. Do you tell me? <laughs> Let's see how many I have. Hold on. The, the buns. Get it because you're okay. No. Let's look at but the back. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, you actually did the fucking thing too. <laughs> Holy. Okay, I'll, I'll need all of them. This isn't even all of them. Hold on. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is not even. This isn't all she my had. final form. <laughs> Bane said, "I wouldn't mind if you. How much gill?" Okay, so this is basically marketplace now. <laughs> holy shit! What the fuck? I was talking about like eight or something, not like holy shit. I'll sell you eight, Dave. No big deal. <laughs> I mean, it's not for my build. I don't have any money. So I mean, I'm I'm cheaper than Ashen, so you can have them off me for uh, one point two million each. <laughs> No, apparently I was very That's nice cool. in selling them way too cheap. <laughs> and since, like, what are you doing? Way too how cheap. Much, so how much are we, are you selling them for? <clears throat> don't, like say, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't, <laughs> don't say, don't say. I want to hear it. No, no. it was apparently, like, he was pissed off. <laughs> Wait, but what if you, like, calculated in the um, price of a mock station and turned into those weird-ass Limsa um, I'm gold buy <laughs> prices? I'm gonna put it this way, she's lost a few mansions over this. <laughs> yeah, but she was crying about how, how like, no, one wants, no one wants to buy them. She was complaining about it for, like, months. So you're telling me she... Okay. They are a hot commodity. Please, you, uh, please people. Anybody. New AG mode house with a blown up roof. Because oh she, <laughs> just our house but like with an explosion. Hang on, so <laughs> like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> basically weird. Jesus Christ, your my game my game would die if I had all of those here. I don't know if you're so slacking or something. You just play somewhere and left. Yo, I, I I have to go back to my house. I don't have a tenancy on my alt, unfortunately. Please, Essie. Oh, oh my God. Got a brick of PS4 in like three easy steps. Do you do you remember that, Div? Some, <laughs> someone wrote to me. Someone wrote to me to let me know my house was not terrible. But, like, they're being very kind. They're like, just as a suggestion, maybe your house is broken. You need to do something about it because it's, it's, it, I'm, it's bricking my game. And then they told me they had a modded PS3. I, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I've, I've genuinely gone into houses where, like, my computer drops to 10 FPS and I'm like, damn, fuck is this? Like, and don't, don't you have, like, a beast of a computer too? But that's just oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How the game like the game engine actually renders lights and stuff like, like that. Like I'll chill, I'll chill like 140, and I walk into some like this dude who was just like, you know what I want to do? 
I'm gonna put ten lights through these bathroom tiles, and suddenly she's like, nah, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> Do you remember that stream, Div? It, it, my load screen was terrible, and now it's like, okay, I don't know. I think it was Streamlabs that day. Definitely was. Yeah, definitely. I heard some other uh, streamers complained. Complaints. Uh, uh, thank you so much for following like, Cook Spaghetti and Music and Fellows and hang on, let's see who do I miss. Narc Tune, uh, Hachimichi, Ariel, Sem uh, Senpai Tamaki, Ultu Pop, Asuna, Gofika, Solo, Lu Lu <laughs> Julia, Jericho. Man, there's so many people, and of course, Tamanta Dangle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Torment Dangle. <laughs> I can be your Torment Dangle. <laughs> Are you Torment... T torment Devil? <laughs> Why do these dangles torment me so? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> do <Dude>, breathe. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's, oh. let's do a light strip, baby! <laughs> hang on before you go, but no, no, hang on before oh, you leave, I, I, want want to, I wanted to show the, the weirdest light. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about how, like, that looks like... <laughs> do you see that? Okay, it's very weird. Yeah. Did you see that thing I linked to you in chat? And it was just like this little piss trail of light. <laughs> Wait, which one? Oh, God. <laughs> which one? Oh, it, it was down at like a pixel when it was just like. <gasps> oh, yeah, it was like a pixel. <laughs> Do it again so they understand what I mean. Okay, I'm not, okay. And I'm not just being facetious. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, let me do that. It's like. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, Just like very. Okay. It was this one. <clears throat> uh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Stupid. I Thank hate you it. For following art sucks. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> what is this? This looks so wrong. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? What is causing this? Yeah, it's it's a light. Like if I put it higher, it's like it's the same way the snow and butts and cones work, but for the ceiling lamp and it's like you know, <laughs> you just gotta open white the gates and the further you put the loft. <laughs> If the fervor you put the loft uh, to the actual light source, it's gonna be weirder and weirder. But I was like was thinking about how you could make like a permanent light coming in, like a, light, a god ray coming oh, in. Oh like yeah, that. like uh, that light box that Raps made in her kitchen build. Mhm. Mm exactly. All right. Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna do a bid, and it's gonna be impossible to make because nobody has Holy as many uh, snowman butts as me. But <laughs> we're gonna do a light strip. Div, don't hold it so long next time. Jeez, what are you? Sorry, Roy. The piss trail. The piss trail. Oh, okay. Sorry, this is like I never leave stream. I live in the stream. I'm like sleeping when we are not streaming. So I'm like I'm lying dormant. Do you guys have <laughs> another law? Yes, give uh, me two seconds. No, I have them on me. I can give them to- I can- Or oh, actually, wait, I can just- Yeah, loft, please. Coming right up. There we go. On the wall. Just depends on which wall, it's like- <laughs> Which wall what? in this house? <laughs> I just- uh, I didn't even see where you were. It's like a labyrinth at this point. Yeah, it's, an LED, it's basically an LED strip, Kai. And oh yeah, so no, no. In this in this case, of course, it wasn't. It was just like the ceiling lamp. But I think what Ash is trying to do is definitely the weird ass strip. <laughs> yep, my friend is gonna die. If Ash could sell, then she'd be a billionaire. She already is. Changes nothing. The rich become richer. <laughs> we we live in dark times. The gap between you know, uh, which, boys, of course, got growing bigger. I have pulled myself up from my bootstraps, alright? <laughs> I had nothing. <laughs> a Ashen, I didn't have anything for like the majority of, of my Final Fantasy game time. 
Like I'm I'm sitting on those 30 million for like for like half a year and before that I you know I was constantly complaining about I don't have any money, how I don't have any money. This is all this was why I just I just can't do anything. Do you still do fan tours, HXA? Yes we do, but what we decided to do, because we had a huge influx of people requesting walkthroughs for houses, <clears throat> um, we were closing them off for a time being to finish our backlog. So what we're doing at the moment is we categorize the things that we have left, the houses that we have left to visit, into data centers. So uh, each, like once a month, we go for a walkthrough of all of the houses inside that data center. And depending on if it's a big server like Primal or Aether, for example, Dater. we are even doing... Da huh? You're saying a very southern dater. Dater? Fucking dater, Sandra? Gator daily? <laughs> oh, I'm one of the gators. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about the gators in a second. Uh, but we're finishing those up. And once we are done with every dater center, which is like, how many do, I have? do we have left? One. Two or three? One! One. Just one. So after this data center, we're gonna open up our walkthrough requests again, and you guys can post your houses for us to visit. And in the future, we're also gonna do the data center kind of thing. So it is much comfier than hopping between servers and data centers. It's much easier for us. But yeah, it's gonna be up soon. Uh, the next uh, walkthrough is gonna be like, what, two weeks? Week two or week three of July. Yeah, so uh, after that, after we've uh, finished that, we can open it up and we can visit you guys again, which was highly requested because we had things up for like months. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to that because since we've closed it down, we had almost like a re like like a re revolution, not, not, not a revolution, but like kind of a housing renaissance <laughs> because people have been picking up other like older styles but have they revolutionized them so well what's really cool hey <laughs> before you guys open it and then immediately have to close it again in a week yeah basically what's gonna happen we already prepared for that <laughs> oh look at that beautiful beautiful light <laughs> Throw wide the gates. <laughs> Only a little bit. But <laughs> this no one is like, you don't talk me, I'm Angie. <laughs> In the corner. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. We've been we've just been to Ether, hell yeah, actually. Um looking forward to see what you guys came up with because we've been like so many people joined and been asking us to open it up again. We're like, <laughs> let me in. <laughs> I think it's been so long that at least on a couple of houses, people had torn them down and done new builds in them since then. I yeah, know, um, um, was it Aether or was it um, before that? Um, Mochi had had like redone the build in that time. Yeah, because they only posted it like three days previously. By the time we got there, <laughs> it's, like, completely different. But also worth to check it out, you know? Oh yeah, sure of course. That's so much a drilly chance. That's so much fun drilly chance for hearing native E speakers find pronunciation. E, e speaker? <laughs> it's like an E girl, but like someone who talks. No, but like I'm I'm not native Eng I'm not an English native speaker if you meant that. Yeah, me neither. You, yeah. <laughs> Sin is a native British speaker. <laughs> he was just saying we don't have a common tongue, <laughs> like common language. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah, but I was like, oh, I was talking with Sin recently. I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak common language with her. Oh, uh, like, well, oh no, not with her. But like, I was speaking. Not, I was not speaking a common language with someone. I was talking to. It was so weird. I was. He was like, yeah, we don't. We don't either. <laughs> Actually, I just I, I don't I don't understand what she says. It doesn't make any sense to me. The words come out, it means nothing. Yeah. Commoner language. <laughs> you can just say it. Sorry, I didn't get what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh Minus Mino speak English can can uh, Deutsch? <laughs> Sprechen Sie Deutsch? <laughs> <laughs> Russian? Gwarizi Poruske? I'll give, a, I'll give you a is, Polish yes. 
attack. Wait, is that the first time you actually heard me speak Russian? Except this one time I wasn't muted. <laughs> Yeah, you yelled out in Russian last week or something like that. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you like that. Yeah, we do we do not enjoy the game. We hate it. Hell yeah. How's housing is suffering. We hate it, but the result is nice. <laughs> please, please ignore any puns from what I'm about to say. You're doing this kind of ass about face. I know, leave me alone. Mm. I, I don't speak your language, I'm sorry, I didn't I, understand what I you said. I don't want to do it all on the side, but I have to. <laughs> She's actually gonna do it. Fucking mad lad. <laughs> I just think they're neat. Yeah, that's just how we do, how we do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you spend like five hours loading something up? I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Why are we building over the stair session, huh? <laughs> it's suffering, but it's worth it. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm very, very looking forward to what's to come in 5.3 because there's definitely gonna be new furniture, and we're definitely gonna rebuild everything new just because we add new things to it. And we're like, you know, I could just rebuild my entire house based on <laughs> adding Ooh, this one tabletop item. <laughs> what if it's slanted walls finally or something? <gasps> I think they're still saving it for Ishgard because of the plastered walls, you know? I think I that's know. kind of what they go for. But... Ishgard's, Ishgard's in 5.3. It's just coming in 2024. Don't, don't say that. I haven't moved to Louisois yet. I need to fucking move to actually get a house. I don't think they'll just drop it on top of our house and be like, yeah, here it is. Prepare yourself. I hope. I hope it's not. I think it's like way in the future. They'll do, so it. Can... They'll do it. It won't even be in the patch notes. Ugh, it's gonna take forever, guys. <laughs> Whatever, just keep talking. So, guys, we added another tier to um, Ishka Restoration, and the server that finishes first gets housing? <laughs> uh, see, that's what I hope. What? I want it to be a bloodbath. No! One server, one server gets it. Gates of AQ. One server. <laughs> Gates of AQ, let's go. Holy shit, just one server. You may get Ishka right. housing. You once. get one, <laughs> one server, gets one ward of it with one large house. Holy fuck. This is Haba Hotel all over again. Just a, just a fucking death fight. No, not moderated, people have to fight over it, it pays that, a stupid amount of money. That one That's house good. will be the Black Scarab from WoW. It's that simple. If you get that, you are gonna be the shit. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna get it and what service. Is It's probably gonna be like, who finished first this time? Was it in an A server? I think it was, no, it was JP. What's JP again? Okay. I remember. Also, what? So wait, it'll be an FC that gets it anyway. <laughs> it'll, be an, it'll be an FC that flips out. So it's it. gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna RMT it for like ten thousand dollars. I was about to say someone would probably buy it for a few thousand dollars. Like, no kidding. Like, people would definitely they, do it. Of course they would. So guys, um, AGX have a donation stream for that Ishgard house. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's a charity. Moment to say, well, we do not support RMT. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do not, but a charity stream, um, we are poor babies, we need Vendor's Card House, just kidding. We Why should, did yeah, I we... say I was gonna do this? Mm, I hate building. Just, just stop, just, you... You've done, you've done enough of this, just cap you've it. Proven, you've proven that it works, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not, I was gonna do it at the, the top, too. Oh. <laughs> Ash, no, get we out. are at we are at one and a half hours. We are not gonna go until like two hours just Fine. because you want to do it. Alright, guys, just imagine that I took all of my snowman butts and just made a light strip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. If you would rotate them, would it change the cone? Oh, but buddy, I am not rotating all of those. Oh, rotate all of them in a different. On, no, 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 no. I'm doing it too. Hang on. You ready for that wide pan? I'll start at the bottom. You go from the top. No, it's not changing. It, you have to, it, you have to make it is slightly. It, it is slightly changing, it's worth it. Hang on. Oh my god, uh, you boys. Do you see it, how it's like slowly- Oh my god, oh never mind. Oh, that's a curse, look at it, it's like coming out of the void. Ah. <laughs> Kill me, please. <laughs> Mother, why have you done this to me? <laughs> Edward. <laughs> oh no, no. I just got over that. 
So what are you saying is if I put this in my walls, I can stop PS4 peasants from entering my home? Yeah, PS, yes. PS5 only? <laughs> so, this hall was made for me. Don't ever say that again, Aglishin. <laughs> no, isn't that a Junji Ida thing? Yeah, exactly! <laughs> dur, dur. This is my hall. This was made for me. I need to go there. <laughs> Man, that comic was so dark. I love it so much. <sighs> the enigma at the fault. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming to this uh, awesome build. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's finish it at the um the living room. Yeah. <laughs> you you don't want to end on the bot. <laughs> I do. No. Want, I. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's your fetish, <laughs> but not mine. Ending it on the bud is... Uh, okay, let's just end this here. Just just cut it. Just time. Just, just, just like... Time. Oh. Time. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, we are going to be proud of two things. First off, your Ishgard... Ishgardian thing. Cute. Maybe without that stage panel, though. But it looks good. Secondly, uh, uh, this corner shelf is... This, this, this... <laughs> There you go, it's gone. There you okay, go. so yeah, Ishgard, we'll look at it again before I tear it down. <laughs> Hang on, let make, me turn make the lights. With it. <laughs> there you go. Corpus, stone house, done. It's going, it's, it's getting torn down immediately after this. This is what, like, she's throwing us into the cellar, like, the basement again. She's like, <laughs> she's like putting us on a chain around our neck. Like, <laughs> For next, okay. week, <laughs> next week, See you, you next guys week. get out. <laughs> yeah. This is it, yeah. Actually, you boys will be doing this next week. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, right. It's it's our turn to... Oh, God, it's boys' night, my guys. So prepare for that. It's gonna be lots of things that we did when I was watching working on that one build with Synth. Lots of, um, I'm gonna mute myself to laugh and die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still regret that no one heard that. Else. I don't think we'd actually announced it was Boys Night before now, had we? Uh, no, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so next weekend it is a holiday. I will be gone. Raps will probably be gone too. So the, it's going to be the Euro Boys. Euro stream. Euro stream. So it's going to be maybe earlier. I, we don't know. We'll see. It's a Saturday. So we'll, we'll just do like a nine hour stream. It's yeah. no deal, yeah. I mean, sometime, sometime this week, <laughs> sometime this week, um, we'll also have a, uh, just a random building stream, probably. I'll stream something. Maybe someone will join me in voice. Do you, do you want to join me? I might consider it. Okay, Synth and me are gonna be sometime during the week. Uh, we're gonna build uh, just random stuff on stream. So look forward to that. And then, of course, it's Saturday together. Boys' night. So um, get your alcohol. Get your bitches. Get your mimosas. And what, what do boys do? <laughs> Make sure you light your farts. I don't know. What do boys do? <laughs> Prep your manicures. Grown woman, sad that just now. Just let that sink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a great night. See you on Boys Night last uh, next time, and I'm looking forward to see what you guys come up with with the corners too. If you dive into it yourself, so have a good run and drive the rest of your week. And and see you in a week. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later.